Labor Day weekend and what am I doing shooting another video when I've got like seven others I've got to produce. But man, I can't pass this up. This is going to be a fun project. Been dreaming about this for a little bit. Got the MX6000. Have a three point receiver hitch. Uh, and the reason I'll show you later why I chose this one because uh, we're going to be having to adapt a few things because we have a TGS07 tailgate spreader from Salt Dog from Byers that I've got to unwrap here in a little bit. Get it unpackaged, and this is really just meant for going on a uh, tailgate in the hitch in the back on a regular truck, and then the bumper is used to stabilize that with a couple brackets. So I'm going to have to do, uh, we'll have the two inch receiver that will go into the three point adapter, but then I'm going to have to weld up something that is like a bumper. But also, since I absolutely love this tractor and I really don't want to get salt all over it, I'll probably be doing a little more of a guard uh, with a drop rubberized piece. It's going to protect the tractor a little bit more. But this was a choice this year as the backup where I've got the snow plow for the front of this tractor and I uh, really just wanted a better way uh, to do some salt option with this too if the truck broke down. Got to have plan B and a third plan and all that. So, all right, so here's the uh, three point receiver hitch that has been unwrapped. Uh, I've got to tighten up these connections, those are kind of loose. But the reason I picked this one over a lot of the other ones, it already has this piece, this piece here for stability on each side of that T, uh, but also that's gonna give me a surface to do some other welding from that I won't have to do. And it was cheap. It, this was an Amazon gig. No, excuse me. This was eBay. Um, I'll see if I can put a link down on the bottom. But box has been cut open. Uh, I've got the bracket that's going to go into the hitch. Of course, the spreader. Spinner, great lid. I love that the lid is pretty light, uh, but it seems very durable and stuff. The uh, protector bar, shield, and the harness, and all the wiring and all that stuff is all here. Right, so we've got the three-point receiver on the tractor and the bracket main holding bracket for the uh for the salt spreader and the good thing is it's actually uh not a lot of slot but that'll get taken up here in a little bit uh depending on how this works with what i build uh to stabilize that like a bumper uh, i may even add some a shim or two something in there just to keep this all snug and tight the good thing about it and what i had daydreamed about this setup Imagine that salt spreader on there. I've raised this thing up while I'm working on it here, but in a little bit I'll be able to lower the arms down and actually put this thing on the ground. So when I start working on putting the spreader on, that'll give me a lower height to have to deal with. Uh, plus, one of the things you won't have is a control. Whatever I may want to do to uh, extend my arm here, it's got hydraulics with the triple stack, um, I can able, I'll be able to push this out, tilt this back, maybe to help load with the excavator. I've got a couple other things working. Uh, actually, just a little news. The next project kind of after this, after some other work, is a um, clamshell bucket for the KX71 Kubota um, that I'm going to use as a, as a backup. I'll explain that later. But that's going to be a, well, it's going to be a rigging thing, homemade clamshell bucket. Well, a little bit of progress. It is actually on the back of the tractor on the three-point hitch, but we're down to the Kind of figuring out the bumper part for this. Uh, got a little bit of bright sunshine here, but you can see the uh, piece worked well. But if we just went with this right now, according to the instructions, and especially it makes sense for uh, physics, but if you just have that receiver hitch and you've got maybe 900 to 1,000 pounds, that's wiggling side to side. There's nothing else supporting it besides that point. So it needs something out here both sides to give a little more support like a bumper would do on a truck and if you'll notice these pieces right here steel uh, well that's what I got and I've got more scrap and actually all I'm going to do is we're going to figure out something here uh, probably looks like so far may buff this up a little bit weld up some type of a bumper here and a piece down to the three-point hitch uh, just to hold that up. Uh, one of the things I don't want to do is really modify this metal, any of this here, so that I can leave that original and it could switch to a truck if I wanted to, to actual real bumper. Um, so trying to do this all on the three-point hitch that will work for that. So 
Uh, it's very hot still, so I'm taking breaks and uh, just gonna keep playing. All right, so moving on another step. Earlier I was kind of fitting things up and going through ideas in some shorts and my sandals and time for cutting and welding. So we have the spreader on here with just one of the bolts. If you can see in the uh, lower right corner down here, that way I can set it up, fold it up, set it back, look at fitment, get it out of the way while I keep building some things over here. But the basic plan has come down to, I wanna keep everything on this three point receiver hitch so it just stays factory back here but we'll be welding a tab on some heavy steel that i've got that'll be a plate on the bottom this will get welded on top of that with this being welded into the frame so this is going to actually become the bumper for the part that would sit on a normal truck bumper with some welded uh plate that's going to come out on top of that and i think it'll be fine so we'll be welding all around this bottom bottom plate this to this and so on so it's going to become a solid piece this is actually longer a little bit longer than i really need just maybe a couple inches but i think the front of this is probably going to get like some mud flaps something uh, just to keep some of the more road ground and stuff from coming up on it and salt from spraying back on the tractor a little bit so uh, we'll start brushing this stuff off and cleaning it up for welding all right little little grandson break actually here during the welding project cutting steel all the other good stuff look at this thing isn't that cool that is for my grandson uh, i'm not even sure where my wife got it but it is needs some repair so i'm actually going to take a break do some gluing stabilizing for the grandson that takes priority so we'll be back to it here in a minute all right we're looking pretty good i've got the uh ready to weld the other pieces on so I've got the piece of channel iron down here. It's already been welded in place under, back side, right side. Um, that should give some strength on the side uh, for this torsion way this way. And we got this lined up. Well, it kind of looks like a thing. Uh, everything looks really well in line, level across. Uh, decent welds, some sloppy. Uh, this is flux core. Actually, wire. I've got gas, 7525, and rig. I got stick. Got everything else, uh, but sometimes just not having to deal with the gas is kind of nice too. But this is should serve the purpose. But I'm gonna let this cool for a little bit. I've got a couple a uh, couple welds underneath that bracket, and just look around, start cleaning up a little bit, and we're gonna let it cool and get on to painting. All right, I'd said on the last segment there that we were getting ready to go on to painting, but actually we've still got a little bit of grinding to do. So these are the, the plates that will get welded on top of that big angle bracket. And this will actually be the bumper per se that the box, the HDP plastic is gonna sit on. Uh, so what I'm doing right now is grinding off the corners. Then I'll put it on the wire wheel, but I don't like any sharp corners anywhere. So I'm just grinding those off, nothing fancy, but I'd just rather not have any sharp points if I can help that. Well, just about getting ready to show you the next segment it's uh, pretty much on there uh, but it's getting ready to put the lid on and notice that last night that looks like the bare 
wanted to check out the product a little bit. So I had to go right over top of it, even with all this space through here, but I had to do it. We'll go ahead and get this on. All right, so it's on. Uh, I do have, actually have another nut to add on there that I forgot uh, with that squeezes in. I haven't wired it up yet. Haven't, uh, about every one of these parts, all these have already had nickel grease uh, put on them when I put them in, but every bolt around in here is gonna get nickel grease uh, pulled back off and redone before winter. And also the uh, shroud adjustment, something I did early with the other salt dog spreader I had was turned it into some bigger wing nuts, uh, kind of like plastic handled ones. And those will get also the nickel grease and stuff on them just to protect it from the salt. Uh, but overall, the fit is good. I'm happy with it. The clearance, everything's solid. It's sitting on quite a bit of meat. Uh, so happy with it. Let me uh, go ahead and get back and uh, I'll set up the camera and then we'll just show the range of motion with this thing. Uh, the good thing is I can... I can work on the tilt with the hydraulic controls this way, height and so on, which means I can lower it if I was having to do some handbags, which we're dealing with bulk salt, but I could lower it quite a bit to the ground and tilt it farther back, easier to hand load. But if I've got a bunch left in the hopper and coming back and I need to put it back in one of my HDPA or HDPE uh, hopper containers, I can lift this thing up higher, back over top of it, and unload down into the uh, container. Just a lot of adjustment, and you can't do that on a pickup truck. So I kind of feel like I got a bonus here. So let's look at the range of motion. Alright, a couple more things to mention uh, before I go. This is now going to block that light, so there will be some rigging. It might be based off of this connection, the small receiver hitch there, combination to here to possibly build a new guard. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I like the angle of the guard protector, but it you know serves its purpose. But I will also want to make a much larger shield. I think coming way up and out and keeping salt spray from this off of any of this. So kind of sealed up in there. I'm not really sure yet, um, but that's definitely something. I really think I can make a better design for this. I mean, it's stainless steel, it's bent right, it works, but they're really kind of a pain to adjust. So that may be something to build in between this piece and the other side. Where I can use this control for the next lever that's in the cab and be able to turn that as a deflector. So if I was really wanting to hit a sidewalk over here, I might be able to just deflect, turn it, hit this sidewalk, a uh, little bit of angle, just whatever. Just total control, man. <laughs> All right, well, winter is coming. Let's get this done.